Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Today, I have no idea what the temperature is outside because I've been in the laboratory all day transferring cultures and making observations of what's going on. And I have another question <laughs> that I need to ask you. The last time I asked you about <clears throat> medium components, I got a lot of really good feedback and comments about what uh, some of the medium components that I should add and so, or, or how I should treat the cultures to, in order to get bigger, better, stronger, faster growing orchids in these flasks. And I'm going to put those, some of those into effect. I'm going to try some of those suggestions soon and I think it's going to work out. I think, uh, I think I'll be able to move things through culture very quickly and deflask them. Um, I have some other, other questions, uh, actually one big question that I wanted to pose to you. Uh, and if you could provide some feedback to me on that, that would be great. It would save me time <laughs> and probably a few uh, months or years even of inquiry uh, because I think some of you have the answers to some of the questions that I have. And, and those are questions relating to how the orchids look in flasks compared to how, they're, how they look as the plant matures. And I'm more interested in uh, coloration. I've got some really interesting uh, coloration in the, uh, the leaves of some of these orchid babies and some of these orchid seedlings. And the, the coloration is red that I'm sure you've seen before. <clears throat> but I've also got some leaves that look like they're almost black. They're really dark. And what I'm interested in is does this phenotype, does this appearance uh, extend into the mature plant, into the growing plant? Does it indicate that because my leaves are really dark that the flowers are going to be really dark? Um, I, I really don't know. Um, I've seen some of this previously and I actually did a little experiment with the butterfly orchid uh, Encyclia tampensis where I selected green seedlings and only transferred those green seedlings, really small seedlings, to a secondary flask. And the reality of it from what I was able to see is they, they kind of grew out of that red coloration and I haven't seen any, I haven't seen the same difference after I transplanted uh, some of that tissue. But those were very, very young seedlings. So what I have is these flask ears. I, I just want to give you, I guess, I want to give you an overview first and then we'll look at some of the interesting coloration that I see in some of the leaves here. So this actually is um, Encyclia tampensis and these are growing pretty well. It's a small container um, but these have uh, been in these uh, the flasks, actually, they were uh, put in the flask, I think, probably around uh, six to, to nine months ago, so not very long ago. And because the container is so small and because the, the roots are growing uh, so quickly, it's going to need to be transferred uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So that's one update. Uh, another update shown here is, again, this is another, another flask. This is a cross uh, that I made. And maybe you can start seeing the, the uh, container here, the flask is polypropylene, so it's a little cloudy, but you might be able to see as I rotate the flask that some of the leaves from this cross seem to be a little bit redder than others. And we'll get, I've got a, a more of an extreme example in a second. Uh, but again, I wanted to show you that. And again, here's some more um, of a different cross that I made. And again, you can see some of the same types of things here, maybe not very well, of uh, how some of the flasks, or I'm sorry, some of the seedlings in here have some red coloration in the leaves. All right, so taking a look, and, and these, these flasks are all, um, you know, same thing over and over again. These are taller flasks, and they're, they're, the orchids, I think, are doing fairly well in here. And most of these seedlings in these flasks look pretty similar. You have, um, you know, they're, they're all uh, siblings. They're all uh, from the same cross. 
and they look pretty pretty similar so most of them are green with a little bit of red coloration uh, in them and that's what you see uh, just another one sorry I won't this is the last one before I want to show you something interesting but again all of the um, all of the the seedlings in here that are all uh, progeny they're all this they're all brothers and sisters they all look fairly similar um, one of the interesting seedlings that I want to show you is in this flask and you might not be able to see it really well here but you can see a leaf right here and you can see how dark uh, this leaf is I'll try to get a better image with a different camera and send it to you but most of the other and, and the other leaf on that is over here uh, may not be able to see it that well uh, maybe you can see it right here um, so that leaf is just really dark and that's the same seedling the leaf here and the leaf that's uh, right over here and most of the other seedlings in this flask they look pretty similar except for the one you can see it when it passes by the the seedlings really dark and everything else is pretty light so I, I again the question that I have is and, and you look at the leaves, the other leaves coming out of that seedling, so there is a new leaf that's coming out of the top of the seedling. Um, and it's, it's also, it's not as dark as those other ones, but it's still, it's still pretty dark. And so what I'm curious about is with something like this, when you see this type of coloration in the seedling, does that mean you're going to see it in the adult plant, or does that mean that the, uh, the plant will produce dark colored flowers. Um, it, I, I don't, I just don't know. Uh, I don't know what's happening here and I would appreciate for some of you that have done this whether you see the same thing. Um, you can see this type of things in, in these flasks but also what I have down here is some, there's some freshly deflasked seedlings and if you take a look at these it is the same type of thing. So these are, here are some, and I'll get a better, better uh, image collection of this, but here are some seedlings that are located in this flat, in this, in this large box. And this is what I do, and I've shared this with you before. I have this. Uh, when I deflask, I put the lid on top. So these are polystyrene uh, containers, and I have all of my uh, orchid seedlings that are in here and I leave the top on here uh, for a month, month and a half and, and the thing is I, I say you know the time month, month and a half but the reality of this is that you have to look to see how the roots are growing on the plants that are in these, these, um, these um, pots in, in this uh, container. You have, to, you have to look and see if the roots are growing, if they're growing rapidly, then you can, then you can take them, uh, then you can acclimate them sooner. Uh, but these are, um, these seedlings are growing, some of them are growing really, really fast. And again, you can gauge that by how big the leaves are on some of these plants and how fast the roots are growing. But the question is, on some of these seedlings that have just really red leaves or that have parts of the leaves that are turning red. I should also mention the light in here, as you can tell, is fairly bright. The other thing that you can't tell is that there, the, there is some filtered sunlight, which is not a good situation that actually gets into this laboratory. So it can get, it, the, the conditions aren't really as nicely controlled as I'd like it to be. But anyway, um, that's all I have. I just would appreciate any comments or suggestions or any observations that you've made on this. And, and I'll figure it out over time by myself. But it would be good to hear what uh, other people think that have done something uh, very similar. So right now I'm just uh, getting really inundated with a lot of these plants are getting large enough to, to deflask. I, I just bought a dozen of these containers. so. Uh, I'm going to be uh, really deflasking. I'm going to have a deflasking party here uh, in the very near future. So um, that's all I have for today. I'd appreciate any kind of feedback that you might have, any any comments that you have on how the orchids look when they, uh, you know, when they're either in culture, or when they come out of culture, and, and how that reflects in any way in the uh, mature plant. I guess one other thing is I've talked to some people that have said. 
Uh, I, I keep the fat, most rapidly growing plants is what I tend to keep and hold on to because i got so many of them. And I've had some people tell me that, no, you have to keep them all or sometimes the runts are really will give you the most spectacular plants. And I like your feedback on that as well while I have your attention. So uh, that's one final, final comment. So any input you have would be appreciated. So that's all I have for today. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, please subscribe to my channel and happy propagating.